All right. We just went through setting up grading standards, reviewing grading settings, creating grading criteria, and creating grading styles. Now we're going to be getting into creating some gradings. And this will probably last, we'll, we'll go through, it looks like about three different exercises. This tutorial demonstrates how to create a feature line and how to grade from a feature line. You can create gradings from parcel lot lines. Remember, from parcels, from the last few live streams, we were dealing with parcel lot lines. Well, you can use parcel lot lines to grade from, or you can use feature lines. And we're going to be diving into feature lines here shortly. Feature line is a linear object that grading commands can recognize and use as a baseline. Creating feature lines. What I'm going to do is we can continue with what we've been doing for grading one. I'm going to go to the home tab and then to the draw panel. Draw panel, which is right here. We're going to create a line. Click that drop down. We're going to create a line from the center of A to the center of B and then to the center of C. Then press enter. Now is this a special kind of line? Let's check it out. If we select it, no, it's just a regular line. Regular line here as well. Okay. No elevation has been assigned to it. You see we have zero Z elevation on both ends of this line. Okay, then we're going to go into the Home tab once again, then over to the Create Design panel, then to the Feature Line dropdown. We're going to create feature lines from objects. Our command line is asking us to select lines, arcs, polylines, or 3D polylines to convert to a feature line, or you can use an XREF. That's nice. I don't really do that a whole heck of a lot, but uh, sometimes it can be very, very helpful. Okay, we're going to select both of these lines and then enter in the selection. We get our Create Feature Lines dialog box. Now notice you can assign a name to feature lines, which is right here. You can do that right here if, if you so choose as they're created. Naming sig significant feature lines can make it easier to assign targets when creating a corridor. So for example, sometimes when you're creating a corridor, you can have a long list of different feature lines. Well, if you name your feature lines, then you can kind of pinpoint what, what you're looking to connect to. Okay, that's where, that's where naming your feature lines can be very, very helpful, very important. For this exercise, you will assign names after the feature lines have been created. So we'll uncheck this box. We'll just leave it at, it at its defaults. We're not going to be assigning elevations right now or weeding points. Just select OK. And when we select this, we now have two feature lines, one here and one here. So we've got multiple feature lines. 